Now, the King of Jordan has described Queen Elizabeth as a beacon of light and hope in an exclusive interview with the BBC to mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. King Abdullah II said the Queen set a high moral standard in public life and held a special place in the heart of his family. Our Royal Correspondent Daniela Ralph reports from Amman in Jordan. The crowded landscape of Amman in Jordan. For generations, the bond between this country's royal family and British royalty has been strong. Hello. How are you? Something the current King of Jordan, Abdullah II, reflected on as we spoke about his lifelong family friend, the Queen. As King, you are in a unique position to observe the reign of a, another monarch. I wonder how you view the Queen's 70 years on the throne. I think with, uh, with a lot of humility, um, uh, my, my late father, um, His Majesty King Hussein, uh, became a monarch the same year as Her Majesty. And um, the special relationship that they had is something that we inherited and we grew up with. Um, but to think of what she has seen in her life uh, and the standard that she has, uh, I think, held as a monarch uh, is an example for all of us. Um, so for, for me, it's just uh, I'm honored to, um, to be part of that story, to have uh, seen that special relationship between my, my father and her, uh, between myself and, uh, and Her Majesty, um, and, and His Royal Highness Prince Charles, and now a wonderful young man, uh, Prince William, who's a friend of my son. So this is a historical relationship that we're very, very proud of. What are the attributes that she has that have largely made her reign so successful? I think, you know, when you look at Her Majesty, you look at consistency, and I think um, uh, putting the moral bar uh, at the highest point possible. Um, she has dedicated herself um, to um, the monarchy and to, uh, to the people. Um, and as we have all experienced, uh, sometimes uh, you, you say things or, or, or have to take uh, positions that may not necessarily be popular, but is the right thing. Um, and I think that moral compass, uh, if, if you look at her reign, is I think what um, has really uh, made her shine compared to monarchies um, elsewhere. And as King, you know what it's like to live your life in the public eye and the challenges that that brings. Uh, how difficult is that aspect of the job? You know, the Queen has, has had a difficult few years. How difficult is it to live life so publicly in all its challenges? Immensely difficult because you're, you're always under the, the microscope. Uh, and again, I think that when you look at how Her Majesty has typified her, her rule is, again, that, that moral compass of, of feeling, I'm, I'm here to serve the people. Um, and, um, you know, my, my life is under a microscope, um, but I will not shy away from, from my responsibility as a monarch. Um, and to hold that bar as high as she has, um, I think it's just a testament of, of, of who she is. What lessons are there to be learned from the Queen's reign? If you look at 70 years of British history, um, you've had good days and bad days. Uh, her Majesty, I think was a beacon of light of hope uh, and continues to be, um, I, I, I believe, for your nation and for many of us around the world. And finally, can I ask you if you have a message for the Queen in this Platinum Jubilee, such a historic moment for the UK? In, in our own humble way, as, as uh, the son of, of, of one of her closest friends, His Majesty King Hussein, I just say congratulations on just a remarkable 70 years of what you've done for your nation, for your people. Um, I am very proud in a small way to have that relationship with, with Her Majesty and, and with, uh, uh, with your country. And uh, um, our, our, our heart is always going to have a very big and warm place uh, for Her Majesty the Queen. King Abdullah, thank you very much for talking to the BBC. Thank you. Thank you. King of Jordan, they're speaking to Daniela Ralph.